Hello, I'm John Connolly, and welcome to my show at the lovely No Naked Walls Gallery. The show's called Edges and Hedges. I walk along the country paths near my home in Derbyshire, um, and I'm instantly drawn towards the field edges and the hedges. The, the hedge is just a, a, a massive source of inspiration for me uh, in paintings um, with all the different colours um, from the, the, the spring greens and the um, cow parsley, beautiful colours and contrasting to the autumnal bronzes and golds and the red berries. Um, I love looking at all the textures that you find in the, in, in the hedges, um, different um, to the Cornish hedges, of course, um, where you see all the lovely wildflowers and the bright yellow gorse. Hedges are useful uh, in a painting for me. They provide a really interesting, interesting foreground. Um, you may be looking over the hedge into a different world, looking into the distance, for instance, um, looking across moors uh, in the Peak District, or looking over a hedge like in the painting, The Tinner's Way, um, which is one of my favourites in this exhibition, um, where you've got gorse in the foreground um, and looking across the Cornish landscape with the Atlantic Ocean in the distance. I produced this painting called Autumn Glow after a drive across Beely Moor in Derbyshire, where I live. Um, it had been raining um, and stopped raining and the, the, the sun came out and the colours were just amazing. Um, the streams that go across the moor would burst in the banks and almost look like waterfalls. Um, I just had to paint it. The texture that you can see in the painting is all created by sand and millstone grit um, with the, obviously lots of acrylic paint over the top and then a poor um, white ink which actually runs across the surface and actually behaves like the water, like the water did running across the rocks um, and stones on the moor. I really enjoy painting seascapes, which uh, it's not easy when you live in landlocked Derbyshire and the nearest coast 70 miles away, but I, I do get up to the uh, Yorkshire coast, Scarborough and Whitby and Robin Hood's Bay, and, but my favourite place to paint has to be in Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly. One of the most interesting parts of a, of a seascape for me is often um, when I'm painting the horizon where the um, sky actually um, meets the sea. Um, there's usually some amazing um, colour combinations and uh, trying to capture the light on the water right out on the horizon. If you get a spark, sea sparkling, and um, I can quite often spend, you know, several hours literally just painting the horizon as much time that can go on in painting the horizon than almost the rest of the painting. It has to be right, I have to get that right.
This painting is called Pendennis Rocks and is the largest painting in the exhibition and it's, it's five foot wide. It's also one of my favourites. Um, I've spent months working on this. There's layer upon layer upon layer of um, paint, inks, lots of sand, um, all collected from Pendennis Point um, in Falmouth where I just sit and enjoy watching the waves crashing on the rocks. Um, hence the title, Pendennis Rocks. I'm fascinated by edges. Uh, I live in the Derbyshire Peak District, which is actually famous for them. Stanage Edge in particular is really interesting to paint and I go there a lot. Um, and there's several paintings in the, this exhibition that show where I've been in different weather, different lighting conditions and uh, in particular it's amazing to see when you see the sun setting over the, over the edge of this amazing rocky outcrop. Similarly, when I'm, when I'm painting a woodland painting in the New Forest, um, I'm particularly interested in, in the horizon there um, where um, I, I want the viewer to actually feel that they can walk into the painting. And so um, it, it's fascinating to be able to see right into the distance through the forest. And so that, that's why um, it's really important for me to, to try and just capture the light going through the trees and uh, just get that feeling of uh, being drawn into the forest. Well, I'd just like to thank you for watching and um, I hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour of my show. Um, all the pieces are available from the gallery and uh, they're also online at um, www.nonakedwalls.co.uk. Thank you very much. <laughs>